So you're working along on your project and your grinder or saw just for an instant catches onto your power cord. Well, then your work is over. A replacement DeWalt cord even on eBay is $20 and I can do this repair myself. It's only a question of the materials I wish to use and of course I want the repair to look neat. If I merely use shrink wrap to do the repair, the back and forth motion of the cord during use will eventually break the underlying wiring. I need to wrap the outer shell of the cord in something to act as a strain relief. As it is, let's begin this repair with a clean cut of the cord into two halves. Of course, I also want to remove the damaged portion, like this. This particular cord has a flexible but hard rubber shell with a cotton layer underneath. Then the wiring under that, each wire having its own rubber layer. I feel confident that I can use my X-Acto knife and be careful enough to only cut through the top layer. I placed a protective piece of backing material under the cord. Then holding the X-Acto blade steady, I rolled the cord under the blade. This seemed to be more accurate than trying to move the blade around the cord. Now I'm pressing downward, but not very hard. Once I'm through the outside cover, I grasp the cover and pull it off the underlying wires. Here I'm folding down the underlying cotton layer in preparation for removal. After using my wire cutters to remove the cotton layer, this is the way it looks, nice and clean. I looked for items around my shop to use as a strain relief for the cord. All these items were close to the correct circumference of what I'm looking for. This item is a drywall insert, but the inner circumference is too small, although the length is about right. This yellow connector is normally used to crimp two wires together, but it's just too small and too short for this project. Recently I purchased this metal sleeve. I didn't have the cord with me at the time. Unfortunately the sleeve's inner diameter is too large, although I like the fit. This was another drywall insert I found and the fit was perfect. Unfortunately, about half of the insert is ribbed and there's a split down both sides and it's a bit short. I even toyed with the idea of drilling the center out of a wooden dowel then milling down the outside diameter close to the size of the cord. Regardless, whatever my solution, it must accommodate shrink wrap. A while back I had some parts left over from a project whereby I installed power door locks on my truck. This was a leftover part meant to cover servo wiring. It looks perfect. Let's check the fit. Wow, there's even enough play to slide it over the shrink wrap. Just what I'm looking for. I'm going to leave this in place. Remember, I haven't yet stripped the wires on the cord from the grinder, so let's do that now. Repeat the earlier process. Cut and remove the underlying cotton layer. I measured and cut a length of shrink wrap that will cover the underlying wires. Before I solder the wires together, I want to slide the black shrink wrap in place. Tinning is the process of preparing the wires by heating and placing solder on them. When the time comes to join the wires together, 
tinning in advance makes it easier. Here I test cut and fit the shrink wrap for each individual wire before joining the wire halves together. Here I tin the other two wires. With the red shrink wrap installed first, I mount the two black wires together. Then slide the red shrink wrap forward until it covers the bare wires. Then use a heat source to shrink it into place. Repeat this step for the white wire. The outer black shrink wrap we installed earlier is now firmly slid into place over the entire connection and a heat source is applied. With all the wires soldered into place and two layers of shrink wrap applied, I now finish the repair by sliding on the strain relief. To ensure this piece stays in place, I applied wire ties in between the last rib on either side and zip it up tight. The ends of the wire ties are neatly trimmed. It probably would have been wise to test our connection earlier, but I am confident. Another repair complete. Hey, thanks for watching and I hope all your projects are successful as well.